Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man. Eris Laura Laura stops Ramon Alvarez. I think in the second or third round, and um, basically he calls out Errol Spence. This is gonna happen. When you start saying that you moving up and all that stuff, then you start getting people calling you out and all that type of shit. But to be honest with you, I like that fight. To be honest with you, I think that would be a good test for Errol Spence at 154. I feel like that'll be a good test for Errol Spence, his second fight at 154. So it's looking good for Errol Spence because that's cool because Errol Spence already is getting fights lined up for him. Eris Lar Lar has a name. I think if they, you know, put it together, I think it'll be a sellable fight, not as far as pay-per-view, but I think people would be interested in seeing that fight. Depending on where you put it at, I think that's a great location for uh, Barclay Center. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing about Lar. This is what always have bothered me. Those type of dudes like Alvarez, he's aggressive. He went for broke in that fight. He teed off on the dude, he took chances where some of his fights, he's let fights get away from him because even though he was boxing great, he it just wasn't enough activity for the judges. At the end of the day, I thought he beat Canelo. A lot of people thought he won that fight, but Canelo got the decision because there were just blind spots in the, in the fight where Lara just wouldn't, wouldn't throw no punches and do nothing. And he was moving around a little bit too much, but he still was outboxing Canelo. But most people with, with common sense know that Lara won that fight. You know, I mean, it is what it is. Had he been a little more aggressive in some of his other fights, then who knows what would have happened. Because most of his losses were very close. Except for, I mean, they even had the Jared Hurd fight. Basically, it was up for grabs until the 12th round. It was a great fight. He got dropped. And, um, you know, that was pretty much all she wrote. But, Laura is 36 years old. You figure, hey, ain't much left in the tank. I, I feel like this. He might have, at the very least maybe two good years left. I mean, as far as his fights go, he ain't been in fights where he just like really, really, really went to war, you know, except for the Jared Hurd fight. So he has a couple of fights left in him. I, I feel like depending on what happens with Errol Spence within the next year, the next year and a half, I like that fight. I like it a lot. When I say I like that fight a lot, I like it a lot. Like I said, it's not pay-per-view worthy, but it's a good, it's a good stepping stone showcase fight to see like how Errol Spence is gonna fare at 154. Me myself, I really think that Errol Spence is kind of hinting that he might be outgrowing 147. Now, don't come on here like putting words in my mouth. By no stretch of the imagination am I saying that he's scared of Crawford and he's ducking Crawford because I, like I said, I don't got the stomach for that shit no more. I'm not even, like, going for that bullshit no more. I'm going to, like, go the fuck off on somebody if they, like, come at me like that. No, I'm not saying he's ducking Bud and he's afraid of Bud. I'm just saying that maybe Errol Spence is outgrowing 154. As you get older... Your body cannot maintain weight in most cases at a certain weight class. You cannot lose the same amount of weight that you could lose via 25 versus 35. In most cases, that's just fact. So, he might be just outgrowing uh, 147. You know, we'll see. But, yeah, I like that fight, man. I like that fight a lot, man. Anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.